Hello everyone, welcome back to another KSP video. Today we will be using ChatGPT, yes, the AI you keep hearing about in the news to make a fighter jet in KSP. So I gave it some parameters, Mach 2 capability, eight service to air missiles, two Vulcans, twin engine, high maneuverability, a TWR of at least 1.03, the ability to fly at low speeds, low wing loading, and a G limit of nine. So I first asked it for the dimensions of the aircraft, the length 15 to 18 meters, and the width approximately eight to 10 meters, bit large, but I have built fighter just larger than this before, so it should be easy to implement. And next I asked it, how should the fuselage look? Three fuselages or one fuselage with a connector for the two engines. It's said to use a single fuselage, which is interesting considering that most fighter jets have a triple fuselage layout where there are two fuselages in the bottom and then like a single very thin one. And I asked for the wing shape it said swept back wings. I made delta wings for this uh, craft that I designed. Really bad. Wing root extensions, I did add that. Um, but I did make a version of this aircraft with the swept wings, didn't really change the performance. Did add canards in the front to increase lift. Uh, I, I thought this was kind of an interesting choice, but it gave me a solid answer. Missile rails, wing tips, underwing, and fuselage mounted. I use a combination of these three for my most competitive fighters like the K24 Eagle V2, which you would have seen in this video. And of course the standard stuff like center of lift, center of mass and stuff, you know, all that. And it said that the F-15 Su-27 MiG-29 feature a single vertical stabilizer. Not true, they have two. Thanks AI for the wrong information you gave my viewers. Anyways, the name that it chose was a Star Force, so it will be designated the AI-1 Star Force fighter jet. I will experiment with more of these, but for now, this is the first prototype that I made. Um, kind of nice looking. I actually kind of prefer this design. I really like it. Had some trouble taking off, but mostly because I was too scared thinking that I would smash the engines. But yeah, it, it has a little bit squirrely in the roll axis for a fine human control, but the AI should get along fine with it, but it's quite good. I mean, the flares and chaff placement, oh yeah, that was one of those other prompts that I asked it. Dumping flares and chaff, you know, all the standard stuff. It seemed to be going quite well until I tried turning. Yeah, apparently this thing really likes to burn out its engine. Not ideal. And this is a really bad problem. I think ChatGBT chose the wrong wing shape. So, yeah, it burns out the engine, which is not good for a fighter jet, mind you. Doing that might do some crazy cool Top Gun Maverick SU-57 style maneuver, but it's not that useful in the actual combat situation. I tried going really fast and seeing if the speed would stabilize it a bit. Kind of did, still flipped out of control. Okay, this is prototype two. Uh, I basically just disabled pitch for the other elevons on the side. And I thought this would make it less squirrely and flip out of control. Because I, I checked the center of mass and center of they're perfectly fine. And then I try pitching and then it, it can't even turn and then it flips out of control. Same issue. Very frustrating. I really wanted this fighter jet to be quite competitive, but yeah, it just doesn't have the turning power that some of my fighters have. I turned on pitch of those again. I disabled the gimbal of those Saturn engines, seeing if that would improve things. Kind of did, kind of did, but it still doesn't turn as well as I would like it to. So yeah. Not, not as good as some of my best fighters, like the K24 Eagle V2 that I just mentioned, and a replacement for that, which I will make a video on soon. Um, it, it's gonna be quite cool, guys. So make sure you to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video so far, and if you would like to see more content from me like this. And yeah, I just basically decided to fire off all the missiles. Anyways, while this is happening, uh, my family and I are in the process of moving and going on vacation, so the video cadence is kind of going to slow down a bit. 
but I think I have some good vacation content coming up for you guys. Destroyed the little thing there. Um, don't worry, nothing bad happened at the end of the test flight. Um, so yeah, this is the very first dogfight that I threw these things into. They have a severe turning issue. I put these against the kites, which you would have seen in the first BD Armory video of Attack the KFC right here. And though, if I forget, I'll put a link to both videos mentioned in this video in the description. And already one of them flipped out of control. I was like, no, 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 no. And it somehow survived. They're fine. Apparently one of the kites crashed into each other. Yeah, these kites, they have a severe crashing into each other problem if I'm not in control of them. Yeah, a, a lot of bugs and a lot of problems with these two crafts. I just decided to start the competition now. I just wanted to give the Star Forces a bit more time. I, I decided to turn on infinite propellant so that they wouldn't flame out and see if that would allow them to do well. I mean, they did get the engines fired off, which is pretty nice. They do look beautiful though, it's gorgeous. Uh, my footage may look a bit brighter than yours and more saturated because I do some post-production because of YouTube's compression algorithm. And it decided not to fire a missile, so I just decided to do it the old fashioned way. And that kite crashed into the ground. I expected the Star Forces to win, considering that the kites are my one of my oldest craft that I've ever made. Back when I still used ground-based radar for my dogfighting craft. But no, apparently not. Another one, another Star Force crashed into the ground. Uh, the kites, they're doing quite well. Uh, like, against my, like, really more competitive craft, I thought the, the kites lasted like 10 seconds. But against these guys, they've been lasting a bit of a while. That looks like a perfect gunshot, but... Again, that stability problem coming to bite them in the neck and stabbing them in the back is getting too dark. Moving along from that, uh, this one is flaming and then it was destroyed by guns, apparently. I saw no gunfire, probably just some battle damage setting. So this is the final Star Force remaining. And that's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. It's not going to be for the thumbnail, though. I have something else in mind. And yeah, it fired the missile. It's engaging a missile? That's interesting. Okay, now it's evading. Kites without their main delta wing are still flying pretty well. Yeah, these guys, these guys have a really, really bad issue. I did put like a decent tune on these things before I threw them into this dogfight. There's another, there's another nice shot for the thumbnail, but yeah, I did put a decent tune on these using the AI auto-tune and tuning this myself, but that would make this video twice as long, and long videos don't do too well in the algorithm these days, because you Gen Z people, you short attention span people, yeah, I have to make these videos a bit shorter, a bit snappy, keep engaging to the viewers, and yeah, that, that was a nice move, that was a nice move, spinning out of control while dumping flares and chaff. That went really close to the ground, had to even extend its landing gear. Apparently this thing is not stable in the yaw either. So thanks AI for making me only have one vertical stabilizer. The kites, they're surviving such a long time and they, they didn't fall to a kill from the star forces. They just crashed and burned. So that really shows that AI is not up to the task of designing an actual competitive fighter jet. I mean, you could probably get a better result than me. Tell me, tell me in the comment section if you if you somehow got a better result than me, and send that craft over through my email, and I'll try and feature it in another one of my videos. And the final Star Force has crashed into the ground with one kite remaining, meaning the kite wins this round, meaning that AI is not good at designing fighter jets. Guys, do not think that AI is going to replace humans. Stuff like this takes a lot of ingenuity, and people saying that, oh, AI is going to replace this is very, an, uh, kind of an arrogant thought, in my opinion. You guys might disagree, but it's kind of my thought. So, yeah. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video, I guess. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time really soon. This is Andrew the Astronaut, signing off.